Okay, we're in a new chapter, Chapter 7, about adding and subtracting fractions. This is Lesson 7.1, and we're going to add and subtract fraction parts of a whole. We can add or subtract parts of a whole when the parts refer to the same size whole, and the denominators are the same. When denominators are the same, the fractions have the same size equal parts. A circle was split into four equal parts, and here are two of them. They make two-fourths, two of the four parts. If we add a one-fourth part to it, we will have three-fourths, one, two, three, one-fourth parts. Here we have a circle that was split into three parts, but we only have two of the parts here. If we add a one-third part to it, we'll have an entire circle. We'll have three-thirds, the two and the one, makes three-thirds, and that's equal to one whole. When the numerator and denominator are the same, the fraction is equal to one whole. It's very important when adding or subtracting fractions that the fractions refer to the same size whole. Here is half a circle, and here's half a circle. And they're each half, but they represent different size holes. This whole circle would have been much larger than this whole circle, so we can't add this half plus half. It's not the same size half. And these are each half of the same size whole. We could add half plus half to make one whole. Here we've got two pans of pizza, and we can see how much was eaten from this pizza and how much was eaten from this pizza. And if the leftover pizza is combined into one pan, how much pizza will be in the pan? We can see these are one-eighth slices, and there's three of them here, and there's one of them here. We have three-eighths plus one-eighth. If we move that one-eighth slice to this pan, we have one, two, three, four one-eighth slices, so we have four-eighths, and this four-eighths is equal to half of a pizza. It's equal to half. If we combined all the slices into one pan, we'd have four-eighths, or one-half of a pizza. Now this pizza was cut into sixths, so there were six slices. Well, one of them is eaten, so there's only five sixths left. We have one, two, three, four, five one-sixth size slices, so there's five sixths. If we eat two sixths, we're taking away the two sixths, and we can see there's one, two, three one-sixth size slices left. That's three six, three one six slices. And that's also equal to half of the pizza. Three six is equal to one half. And we can see that the three is half of the six, so it's equivalent to half. When the numerator and denominator are the same, it's equal to one whole. This circle is cut into one-third pieces. Each part is one-third, and we have three of them, so we have three-thirds. That's one whole circle. If we take away one-third, we're going to have two-thirds left. Three-thirds minus one-third is equal to two-thirds. We can only join or separate parts that refer to the same whole. In this carton of eggs, a half carton would be six eggs because there are 12 in one whole carton. But half a carton of these eggs would be nine eggs because there's 18 in one whole. So we can't say one half of this carton plus one half of this carton makes a whole carton because they don't represent the same size whole. Here we have half of a small cookie. Here we have half of a large cookie. They're both a half, but we can't join them together and do half plus half to make one whole cookie. But we could do it if they represented the same size whole. 
we could add this half plus this half. We would have two one-half pieces or two halves, and that's equal to one whole. We have the same numerator and denominator, it's equal to one. Or if we had a half of a large cookie and another half of a large cookie, we would have one whole large cookie. We need to use the model to write an equation, then solve. We see there are one, two, three, four, five parts to this pentagon. We can see three are colored pink and one is crossed out. To write an equation, we start with how many are shaded in all. That's three of the five, so that's three-fifths. One is crossed out, which means they're taking one away. So that's subtraction when we're taking one away. One of the five pieces is being taken away. It's three-fifths minus one-fifth. We look at how many shaded parts are left. That's two of the five are left. It's equal to two-fifths. For this one, they're using fraction strips, and the one is here to show us what one whole would be. We have some one-sixth parts, and we have one, two, three, four, five of them, and two are crossed out. So we have five-sixths, and because two are crossed out, we know it's subtraction, we're taking those away. We're taking away two one-sixth parts, so that's two-sixths, and it would be equal to these three one-sixth parts that are left over. That's three-sixths. And the three-sixths is the same thing as half of this one whole. Three-sixths is equal to one-half. We need to use the model to write an equation, then solve. We can see this is an addition equation because there's a plus sign here. These are split into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each of these are one eighth. And we have one, two, three, four of them that are shaded. That's four eighths. We know it's plus addition because there's an addition sign here, symbol. And we can see there's only one eighth in this one. So we're adding four eighths plus one eighth. And it's equal to one, two, three, four, five eighths. Four eighths plus one eighth equals five eighths. Now, looking at this, we can see that this is half of our shape, isn't it? Four eighths is equal to half. So we also could write one half plus one eighth is equal to five eighths because four eighths is the same thing as half. Mrs. Kim is making a dress. She sewed one seventh of the dress on Monday and two sevenths on Tuesday. What fraction of the dr dress does she still need to sew? We could even draw a little grid and fill in one seventh and two sevenths to help us visualize what we're doing, we think we need to combine the parts of the dress she sewed, then we need to find how much she still needs to sew. One seventh plus two sevenths is equal to three sevenths. That's three of the seven equal parts. We can use seven sevenths to represent one whole dress, so we have equal parts to subtract. Seven sevenths same numerator and denominator is equal to one whole. And now, because we have it written as seven sevenths, we can subtract three sevenths and it's equal to four sevenths. She needs to still sew four sevenths of the dress. Student A and student B use different models to help find one fourth plus one eighth. Whose model makes sense? whose model is nine cents and why? We look at student A, they wrote for one-fourth plus one-eighth, they filled in 
this one section here and shaded it in. And for this shape, they filled in one of the eight parts. Student B filled in one of these four parts and one of these eight parts. So which one makes sense and which one is nonsense? Do you remember we have to use the same size hole when we're adding? If that's a one eighth size part, well then that's a one eighth size part. That's not one fourth. This is not the whole thing. It's one fourth, but not of an entire shape like this. So this one is nonsense because it's not the same size hole. This one has the same size hole split into four equal parts, so that is one fourth. And this is split into eight equal parts, and one is shaded, so that's one eighth. So student A's model makes sense. Student B's model is nonsense because they didn't use the same size holes to represent the fractions. There are two jars of strawberry jam. Jar A is 5 eighths full and jar B is 2 eighths full. How much jam is there all together? What if we poured this jam into this jar? How much jam would be there all together? We need to choose from these fractions to write an equation that shows the amount of jam. Well, this jar has 5 eighths, so we can choose 5 eighths. We're going to combine it with the jam in this jar, and that's 2 eighths, so we can use the 2 eighths. And altogether, we would have a 5 eighths plus 2 eighths. Do you think it equals 1 eighth, 4 eighths, or 7 eighths? We have 5 here. We take these two and put it here. Wouldn't that make 5, 6, 7 eighths? There would be 7 eighths of a jar of jam. It's very important when we add or subtract fractions that they have the same denominator so they represent the same size whole. In our next lesson, 7.2, we're going to write fractions as sums with the same denominator. Have a wonderful day, and I hope I'll see you there. Bye.